Okay, so I got a joke for you. Two people walk into a bar. A Mexican person, a blonde girl, and a guy with glasses. Unfortunately, bar jokes aren't necessarily the nicest kind of jokes out there, so one of the only possible ways that this can go is that an inappropriate comment we made about each of the three people. And we've all made jokes like this. We've all made jokes based on unfair stereotypes and on assumptions based on how a person looks or how they act. And we expect the person who we're telling this joke to, to laugh. And often we do this without thinking of how, who the person is that is hearing it and how this will affect them. And the instant that someone makes a joke, we accept it as harmless. And we, can, we think that this kind of behavior is okay. We think that this discrimination and this, these uh, assumptions are okay to do. And we just continue making jokes about it. But by doing this, we could dismiss people's problems and their issues. And um, we can even dismiss their humanity. For example, the stereotypical blonde joke, where a blonde woman or a blonde girl is usually only seen as dumb. And there is a gigantic group of people who are just all taken and dumped together into a group where there is only one characteristic, and it's usually a very negative character. Uh, well, not usually. It's always a negative characteristic. And these people who make jokes like this uh, turn right back around and then criticize that group of people for the negativity that has been imposed on them. And I can assure you, if you think of any stereotype, and then you think of a, any person put into that stereotype, they do not fit it at all. But then why do we think it's okay to do this? Why do we think it's okay to just clump an, an incredibly diverse group of people into that one negative stereotype and then criticize them for that negativity that has been put onto them? We're constantly exposed to this kind of behavior uh, and we're desensitized and we start seeing them as okay because if we're laughing about it, then it's harmless, right? And this hurts people both when they're hearing it and when they're at the butt end of the joke because it can completely make their self-esteem plummet, which, which affects the rest of their life. And it can continue prejudice in people who might be their future employers or who might, ha who might have to engage in social and intimate relationships with these people. And you probably think that I'm some sort of wet blanket by now or that I just don't like jokes because I don't think they're funny and that I should relax and laugh at them or that I'm jealous because I can't make any jokes. But, but um, the thing is that there's a difference between positive humor and negative humor. And negative humor is usually the one that belittles per people and that uh, perpetuates negativity against a, ty a type of person. For example, a study by Thomas E. Ford and Mark A. Ferguson from the Society for Personality and so so Social Psychology, they analyze sexist and racist humor, which, way they, which they refer to as uh, disparagement humor, and they analyze the psychosocial effects of this disparagement humor, which is that um, it increases uh, prejudice and tolerance of discriminatory behavior against the group being belittled, especially for the people who are not directly affected or who already have a predisposed prejudice against the group. And this expands the boundaries of what Ford and Ferguson called the, the, preju uh, the prejudice norm, which is the standard of tolerating discriminatory behavior. And the people exposed to this disparagement, um, sorry, this disparaging humor adjust their views of the belittled group, which can then turn into a means of social control. If the dominant group keeps making this kind, these kind of uh, jokes that are sexist and racist, it can just perpetuate an, a negative attitude towards the group being made fun of. And this could hamper any sort of positive work that the, that the minority group is working towards. Now, I'm not saying to just stop telling jokes completely or altogether, but to maybe think about using positive humor instead. Um, positive humor is safe, and it doesn't mean to belittle anyone. Positive humor it usually makes it safe for human differences and mistakes. So I want you to encourage into in criticism of jokes and into thought of how this, these jokes and will affect the person hearing it, whether if it's by promoting a negative stereotype into their, into their attitude or because they're being made fun of are going to have the, the most negative outcome the rest of their lives. And so I just want to end this joke on, with a positive humor joke, which is one of my favorites actually. So a grasshopper walks into a bar. The bartender says, hey, we have a drink named after you. And then the grasshopper says, really? You have a drink named Steve? Thank you. <laughs>